so the first two ma so the first two matches uh, both in straight games victory to Lee Chuk Yu from Hong Kong and Soan Serasinga and Satyana Mapasa from Australia took their spot in the mixed doubles finals tomorrow next match coming up is the women's doubles between top seeds Vivian Hu and Woon Ki Wei from Malaysia against Poli, Gracia Poli and um, Apriyani Rahayu of Indonesia. Here's the uh, draw, and uh, you can't really see it here, but um, Poli and uh, Rahaya were uh, in a long, long match in the uh, third round against uh, Matsuyama and uh, Shida. 121.19 in the, the decider. Whereas their opponents between Hu and uh, Wong Ki Wei, they've had a fairly easy road here to uh, the semi-final. Yeah. Here's the uh, court officials coming on court. As this women's doubles is uh, match of the day. Um, Vivian Hu followed by Wonky Wei. And their opponents, the vastly experienced Gracia Poli and uh, her young partner Apriyani Rahayu. Only 19 years of age. Lots of both uh, Indonesian and uh, Malaysian supporters here in uh, North Shore Event Centre. Of course, uh, we need to get uh, the coin toss over with. Indonesians uh, won the coin toss and elected to stay on this near side of the court. Where they play a little bit up against that uh, slight drift that there might be here in uh, the stadium. Here's um, Wonky Way. My partner Vivian Hu. 27 years of age. Lives and trains in uh, Kuala Lumpur and uh, together had the best results when they won the uh, Commonwealth Games gold medal in uh, 2014. They also, on that occasion, won the gold in the uh, team event. Wonky Wei, a year older than her partner, lives in uh, Subang Jaya in Selangor, which is a suburb to uh, KL. their road to the final quite convincing most points for the opponents is 16 in the uh, quarterfinal so smooth sailing so far for the two Malaysians here's uh, 
Apriani Rahayo. And her partner, Gracia Poli. Poli, 29 years of age, but uh, turns 30 in uh, six days. Highest rank is um, second in the world, but that is together with uh, her former partner, uh, Nitya Krishinda Maheswari, who uh, Ready is play. recovering from um, surgery at the moment. Um, fairly new partnership here is Apriani Rahayu, 19 years of age, um, from um, Lavulu in uh, southeast Sulawesi. They formed their partnership in the German Cup when they were playing uh, the match against Denmark and, and took um, Camilla Ritter Yule and Christina Pedersen to, to three games. And as you can see, they played some uh, some tough matches in the beginning, beat um, the strong Chinese pair Du Yue and uh, Xu Ya, as we just have uh, seen in the mixed doubles, beat them in a close match and, uh, and then a three-game match after that. And of course, um, there's no head-to-head -head between these pairs as um, the Indonesians have only played two tournaments but Ladies already got one Grand Prix gold title as right. they won the Thailand Let's Open earlier this and year. Abriyani, Rahayu, Indonesia. Jean-Philippe Berge from uh, New Caledonia. And on my left, Vivian Hu Service judge and Susan Hoon Taylor. Kiwe, Malaysia. Won't give way to serve to Grecia Poli. Lobo play. from uh, Pauli and I must say I have One great expectations lock. for this uh, women's doubles here uh, it's three very very accomplished players and one um, up-and-coming uh, talent in uh, Apriana Rahayu and she's already shown that she definitely can play and she's a worthy partner for uh, Pauli Had a tougher way to this semi final than their opponents, but that might actually benefit them in this match. They have been asked to play close to their top level early in the tournament, whereas the Malaysians might need some time to just get up in gear. the Indonesians. Shot by uh, Vivian Hu. Service over. Who, together with her partner Wonky Wei, were runners up here in uh, 2013 in uh, New Zealand Open. Lost on that occasion to Udong Ni and uh, Tang Yuan Ting. Tang Yuan Ting, of course, uh, 
retired since the Olympics. Um, good rally. Excellent play here by the Malaysians. Two, three. Play. Good follow up by Vivian Hill. Very alert. Miss hit there from uh, Wonky Wei. Service over. Four, two. That supports the uh, read. There is actually a little bit of drift coming uh, towards the camera. Or rather, from the far side towards Service the near side over. here. Three, four. That within who? Service over. Five, three. Play. and of course the Malaysians try to uh, target the uh, middle in between Four, the two Indonesian five. players after all they've only played three tournaments together so wise to explore whether they can create a little bit of confusion between the two Indonesian players of course the Malaysians know Gracia Poli very well played uh, each other in the Olympics when Pauli was uh, playing with uh, Mahaswari. Six, played four. each other in the group stage. Both pairs um, progressed from the group stage to the quarterfinals, but um, no medals for any of them. There from the, the Malaysians. Five, six. Of course, both pairs have a really, really solid defense. So if you open too early, you will probably uh, run the risk of getting counterattacked. So it's about reading. Uh, the situation Service correct over. and Seven, five. choosing the right time to attack. This time it was the Indonesians that were successful in doing that. Service over. Six, seven. <laughs> Seven, 
excellent attack from the Malaysians. And again, they were targeting um, Eight, the right side of uh, Apriani Rahui, Rahayo. Thank you. We can see that Rahayo has got some uh, colorful uh, strapping on her right arm there. I don't know how significant it is, whether it's something that um, Eight, seven. causes her trouble. Nine, seven. Good work by uh, Wonky Way. Ten, seven. Wait. Five straight points for the Malaysians here. Good inception Service by uh, Pauli. Eight, ten. Good smash from uh, Vivian Hall gives the uh, Malay the top seeded Malaysians a three point advantage here coming into the interval in the first game. As the coaches uh, come on court to offer a bit of advice on how to proceed in this match. Malaysian coach, women's doubles coach Wang Pei Ti. Court one, 20 seconds. Myself, um, Court one, top player 20 in uh, seconds. women's doubles. Thank you. You're ready to play. Ready to play. Thank you. Well, after a little bit of hesitating start, I think um, the Malaysians have come back strong, especially uh, Wong Kuei, uh, who no doubt always have had a really, really good um, eye for the game, but sometimes have uh, come across as a little bit soft and, and not really capable of um, putting the pressure on from the backcourt, but she certainly has done that here in the first game. Interesting to see how this uh, unfolds here in the second part of the first game. The Venetians were contemplating attack compared to how this match started with long rallies. So it's a totally different uh, beginning. Good shot. Excellent shot by Wong Kiwei. Reverse slice there. There's not a whole lot of uh, space to work with on that uh, outer side of uh, Gracia Pauli. Here she comes forward. Slices the shuttle and uh, that's important because otherwise it's in the risk of going long. Excellent play. together the two Malaysians but I don't think um, I don't think they broke very often we see that um, the one who hits last breaks the other one's racket but that's apparently not the case here very good defense
an excellent rally. Fourteen eight. Great, great drop shot by uh, Wonka Way. Neutral look on the uh, Indonesian coach here, but uh, ready, to ready to give some advice to Gracia Poli. Wants a hit. 14 8. Change. Change. Over. 9-14. Malaysians currently uh, rank 14th in the world. It's been as high as number 9. That equals the score right now. Um, it also means that it is um, the second sort of top pair that's gone long. It's the second really top pair that um, maybe over. the third that um, Poli and, and Rahaya nine. has played um, in tournament play. They also played uh, Pedersen and Yule during the uh, uh, Sudirman Cup. The other one they played is uh, Chang Yana and Lee Sohee, whom they lost to in the Indonesia Open. So. It's really a chance for them to test themselves over. against uh, 10, the absolute uh, world-class uh, players and constellations here. Exception. Played a clever game, the Malaysians. Here it comes from Wong Ki Wei. Played a clever game, um, staying in balance all the time, not exposing themselves too much. Confident that they can uh, withstand the Indonesian uh, attack as long as they don't get out of balance. Service over. 11 17.
shot by uh, Lahaya. 12-17. Two Indonesian players, exactly the same height. 163 centimeters or five foot four each. Show me. Uh, the umpire was about to call the referee. Good. If um, to check if Rahayo was uh, bleeding from a scratch on her finger. Play. In situations where the Malaysians have to be um, alert and ready, can't afford to give loose points away. Yes, then um, certainly Indonesians will be right back in it. This is a situation when Pauli was at the backcourt when she played with Maswari, they would almost always try to change positions so that Pauli got to the net and Maswari could fire her dangerous smashes. Then we don't see that as much with uh, Rahayo and Pauli. Another mistake over the left shoulder of uh, Wonky Wei. And now the umpire is, uh, is, is calling the referee. Ladies and gentlemen, the pairing of Sal and Sarah Sigar. Yeah, we're going to get the umpire, uh, sorry, the referee on board together with the, the doctor because uh, it wasn't as I fall to set on from a scratch on her finger. It was a scratch on her knee, I think. And it's going to be very, very difficult to uh, get something to, to stick well on a... Uh, on a knee because I mean the players they want now and they're, they're sweating so it's going to be really really difficult to get it to stay there on the knee. Yeah, that's what the referee is saying. So the umpire is probably not going to last. Look at chance 14, for the Malaysians to uh, regroup. Lost four points in a row and Play. definitely want to try and stop that and capitalize on the seven point lead they got just a moment ago. by uh, Pauli and uh, Rahayu and they're definitely within striking distance now. 17. Sorry. Correction. 15, 17.
defense. the longest rally of the match. And a mistake by Rahayu. That was a really, really important rally for the Malaysians, I suspect. Bash, our umpire wants the players quickly back on court to play on. There's, there it goes. There goes the band aid. It's already gone. The referee was right. It's not going to last. Saved by uh, Gracia Pauli. Service over 16 18. They're still in with the chance, Pauli right. and uh, Rahayu, but there's not room for many uh, errors. Gone long. Unfortunate for the Indonesians, but the, the push from uh, Gracia Poli just went long. Of long rallies in this women's doubles match already 26 minutes in this first game here. Service over 17 19. by uh, Rahayu. 19, 19. Really alert on the uh, third shot there. And there's only one point in it now and 
clearly the Indonesians with the momentum, even if they should uh, end up losing this first game. Good shot. Oh, it goes, it goes long again. And the Indonesians are not satisfied. I'm not sure what they're complaining about, whether it's the uh, line call or they suggest that uh, one of the Malaysians players touched it. Yeah, the, in my opinion, there's no doubt that it was long. It's very, very hard to see whether one of the Malaysians touched it. And uh, of course, the umpire can't call anything unless he's absolutely sure. So two game points for the Malaysians here. But uh, in my opinion, with the Indonesians 20, in the driver's 18. seat. The first game. First game they, uh, by Vivian Wu. Got a scare. 21, the Malaysians 21, leading 17 18. 10, ending up winning 21 18. So, ready for the second game here in uh, women's doubles. Second First game, game to top seeds Wonky Way and Vivian Hu, 21 18. Play. After they nearly jeopardized a 17 10 lead. So, the Indonesians finished the first game with their momentum, and uh, will they be able to maintain that door as Wong Piti, the Malaysian coach, has she worked wonders in the, in the break here? Because in my opinion, the Malaysians were really, really lucky to get away with that first game. Rosman Rasak with the uh, golf gear next to Wong Piti.
the chuck. Three love. Just a little flick of the racket from uh, Rahayu. Very steep return there. Mistake by uh, Wong Ki Wei, and we can see that she's got quite a heavy strapping on um, her right knee and uh, the bandage on her left knee. So, uh, thinking about the speculations there's been on her sort of uh, sustainability, can she can she practice hard enough to to play hard enough? Um, that's to me still a question. I, I think. She did extremely well in the first game, but it seems like at 17-10, uh, the Five Indonesians, they long. found a way to sort of neutralize her. Remember the two mistakes she made over her left shoulder when when Vivian Hu was smashing? I think a very good plan for the Indonesians is playing towards the right shoulder of Wonky Wei. Don't do that again. You're delaying the game. Delay, no delay. Yeah. And from China, Swan Swan Li Yu and Yu Ting Xie. Verbal warning from the umpire to Wong Ki Wei. And that, that's the sort of urgency the Malaysians will need. And, and that's what brought them the lead of 17-10 in the first game, whereas it seemed like they were One, trying to get five. by uh, with some 80-90%. Uh, I don't know like, the exact percentages, but um, a little bit lower than, than full effort. And, and I think they're going to need full effort if they're going to book a spot in the final here in uh, Sky City, New Zealand, Badminton Open. Service over. Six one. There was again that um, defense targeting the right shoulder of um, left handed Wonky Way. Good work there. Service over. Two six. Played by the Indonesians. Service over. Seven two. And they've done a really, really good job playing themselves out of um, defensive positions, and when they use that um, cross defense there, they sort of neutralize wonky ways. Excellent. Uh, ability of reading the game and they really got her number right now I there's a lot of mistakes two. coming off her hand or her, her racket more precisely
service over. Three, eight. Service over. Nine, three. I haven't nine. really had um, a good run since the Olympics. And, uh, the ambition of uh, Wong Kiwi was to go to Rio 2016, and sometimes when you fulfill your your ambitions, uh, it becomes a little bit difficult. What, what to do then? And, and do I believe that I can uh, set higher targets for myself? Over. Ten, four. Um, in my mind, that's definitely um, a valid question whether she has the motivation, the right motivation to maintain the position in the uh, top 10, 12 in the world. Service over. Five. Gone wide. Service over. 11, and five, the Indonesians go into the interval with a six point lead. They've definitely maintained the uh, momentum from the first game, even though they lost it. And this, uh, tough job to do for. Uh, Malaysian coach Wong Pei Ti. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Thank you. Thank you. And it's up to the Malaysians, in, in my opinion, to do something about this. I don't think the Indonesians are going to change much. They're just going to keep grinding away. We know that uh, um, they're capable of doing that. And uh, Gracia Pauli, of course, uh, part of uh, 11, the longest ever badminton match. Play. Played in the... Uh, Badminton Asia Championships in 2016 against them. Um, she played with the partner Nietzsche Krishinda Maswari and played Kurumi uh, Yonao and Nako Fukuman. 161 minutes. So, uh, Service over. in her mind, Six, this is just 11. the beginning. Worried looks on the faces of Wong PT and uh, Rosman Rasak. Six, 
Service Olga. Seven, twelve. Good shot. Short lift from uh, Wonky Way and uh, over. powerful smash 13, by Glacier Pauli. And they simply look um, stronger physically, uh, the Indonesians. Four. Ooh, a loose serve from uh, Poli there. Service over. Yeah, smiling a little bit. Uh, she's been struggling with her services for a couple of years now. Not um, not all the time, but but on and off she's been struggling with her short service, and, and she's working on it. I saw her in the practice hall yesterday, alone working on her service. Service over. 14, eight. Excellent play. What a great read by uh, Rahaya. 15, 8. Comes forward and just blocks that one and then goes for the kill. Excellent. Excellent read by the young Indonesian. Feel that um, wonky way is getting a little bit tense. That was what she indicated with her arm movement there. Wong PT got to be relaxed in the defense in order to uh, work the racket uh, fast enough. Six. Service over. 17-9. Definitely too high, that low serve from Vivian Hu, and I think it's fair to say that she's been struggling with the low service also in this match because she's made a couple of errors, and um, there's no room for it in uh, women's doubles. She, it's an easy point to give away, and, and most likely you won't get any yourself. That one's gone long from uh, Rahayu, and we have... Um, 10 the 10 17 uh, score that uh, sort of uh, initiated the Indonesians in the first game. Can it do the same for the Malaysians? Uh, good 
good reaction from uh, Wong Ki Wei. 11.17. Very strong in the forehand side at the net. Okay. Thank you. Back to court. Back to court. You're ready to play. Over. And it's, it's just a mistake that you can't afford to make. Because, I mean, what are you hoping for? You can never win on that shot. It's always going to be returned by the opposition. So you simply can't afford to make mistakes there because there, there are no winners. Bit too high from Vivian Hu and uh, Rahayu picked up on 11. it. Play. Playful playing style right now from the Indonesians. Seems like they really, really enjoy being on court. Sometimes you get that feeling that the opponent can't do anything to you. It can't hurt you. That's a fantastic feeling to get on court. Oh, it's gone long. <laughs> Service over. 12-19. Uh, good deception. Service over. 20 game point 12. Excellent deception here from Gracia Pauli sets herself up for the kill. And eight game points for the Indonesians. Service over. Oh. 13 <laughs> 20. The Indonesians, they went to the kit boxes. They thought, let's get it over with and Get the decider going. Game. And there it is. Indonesians take the second game. Second game, won by 21, 13. 13. Mm. Forces 21, a 13. decider here in the semi final of. Um, Women's doubles. Ah! I must say, um, it's worrying times for uh, the top seeds here. Here coaching here as they've been uh, dominating the match since in the middle of the first game.
But I must say, from, from the position where, where we're commentating, uh, I feel there's a, a slight drift coming from um, the far side of the court towards the near side here. And if that's correct, then we could uh, very well see the Malaysians um, get off to a, a better start in, in the um, third game here than they, they did in... Uh, in the second one, because they get a little bit of help seconds, in their attack from that one, um, 20 seconds from that drift and it's a little bit different in, in women's doubles where you'd like to play with the drift and in, for instance in women's singles and men's singles you most likely pre prefer to play against the drift because you can better control your shots with accuracy and so on but in the women's doubles it's really really important to get help in the uh, in the attack Viviane Bou, ici. Final game. Lovo. Play. Very, very good flicker from uh, one Apriani Arahayo. Service over. One old. Very nice to see uh, Wonka Wei move out in her backhand side because I feel Two, that that's the one. solution. Um, getting her more involved at the net and, and uh, more active. <laughs> Movement wise at the net. Oh, it's gone long. Three, one. That's what um, the coach and the doctor ordered a good start to the third game for. Um, women who went wonk away so they get a little bit of belief back too high service there too high service over service Two, above the net nothing faulty about it just uh, not the correct quality Shot. Very nice shot from Vivian Hoop. Service over. 5 2. Igracia Poli has a shadow. Good umpiring there, in my opinion. There's no need for her to keep the shadow, it's just about handing it over immediately. Gold event. Vivian Hu and Wonke Wei. That was um, the Indonesian Masters in 2015. It's gone wide. Seven, two.
good lead for, for the Malaysians. I, I have a feeling that they need to lead quite big at the interval to uh, sort of make it all the way home. Something like 11, 4, 5. Excellent play. And, and it's a totally different game now, and they penetrate the uh, Indonesian defense with their attack. It must give them some belief back. And I know there's a there's number of cliches in situations like this that every point is valuable, but, but it really is. I mean, things get to be cliches because, because they're through. And um, every point the Indonesians can score on this side of the court here will help them. But they're clinical, the Malaysians right now, Nine, and, and what a great three. job um, Wang Pei-Chi has done in the uh, interval between the second and the third game. Great save by Vivian Hall. Lose, lose shot by her partner. Service over. Four, nine. There we have Wong Pei Ti. Used to play the women's doubles with uh, Chin Yu Hui. But also uh, an accomplished mixed doubles player. Won a um, bronze medal in 2007 together with the cooking kit. Service yeah. over. 10 4. Oi, she's down. She played it from the floor. And and the uh, the linesman didn't call it. But the umpire did. The umpire did. 11 4. Lead here at the change of ends in the third game. And an 11 4 lead for the top seeded Malaysians women who went wonk away. Here comes that last shuttle. That one she saves sitting on the floor. Gracia Pauli. Court one, 20 seconds. Court one, 20 seconds. Very different, um, uh, difficult you. coaching situation here because Thank you. you only have um, you ready to play? one minute and, and you have to totally change your uh, attitude towards the game. Coach. Because if the Malaysians now think that they can play defensively, they, they will uh, be in big, big danger of um, getting caught by the Indonesians. They have to 11, continue four. to play uh, attacking badminton. It's, it's going to be really, really tough, but they're simply just going to uh, go all in and, and give everything they've got here in order to maintain the attack. And of course, for the Indonesians, it's about getting the attack and 
still believing that it can be done and, and mistakes like that they, they're going to be costly because 12, for every one of those mistakes the Malaysians get a little bit more belief than it can be done they creep one point closer to the 21 they need Outside the picture, uh, Wong Kiwei is looking bewildered at her coaches. Uh, what was that? Um, did I move or should I move or what, what's going on here? I don't know whether that's something that they've discussed in the break. It's gone long. And again, the Indonesians. Uh, Service over. 13 5. Okay, that uh, the Malaysian girl touched it. And it's way long. But the umpire says no. Confusion, perfect placement by the Indonesians. Service over. Six, 13. Both Malaysian players thought that the partner had it. <laughs> That's the thing that often happens, or often, often, sometimes happens in. Right-handed, left-handed combinations. Both have forehand or both have backhand in the middle. It's a good rally. Fantastic save. Fantastic save there by uh, Vivian Hu. bit of uh, alternative uh, footwork there from Vivian Hu, but um, I'm sure she don't really care. All she cares about is the point that uh, she and Wonky Wei got. Service over. 7-14. But it, it's now that the Malaysians, they have to show resilience because this match is about to change one more time if the Indonesians get two more points now and go to 9-14.
Service over, 8.15. Nine fifteen. It's eight. But very alert by Wonky Way. That was important. Maintain that seven point lead. Yeah. Holy is wiping the court here. <laughs> Ready to play. They can see the goal line now. The simulation. Women. Service over ten sixteen. Service over seventeen ten. Excellent work by Vivian Hall. Oh, she missed it almost. But a good miss, because it still went over and... Uh, over. ...caused a mistake. 
von Vivian Hu. That was a rally that, um, in my opinion, a bit on uh, wonky way, I think. If I were the Indonesians, I would target her in the next couple of rallies. Oi, another miss by Vivian Hu. This is far from over yet. Good save. Excellent play by Gracia Poli and Apriani Rahayu. Nothing is decided in this match. As the Indonesians are staging a comeback, and trying to get into their second ever Grand Prix Gold final in only their third tournament as a pair. Thank you. The Malaysians, on the other hand, they haven't contested a final for over two years. 13 17. to your opponent, it means you are ready, okay? You, may, you have to be ready quicker. Yeah, good point by the umpire. Saying that um, if she looks at her opponent, that's a sign that she's ready. Way. Move, move the backcourt player. Oi! much at stake both pairs trying to find an edge that's well played she shows her skills in that uh, forehand side at the net uh, Walk away. That's where she has her absolute force. Reading the game and the forehand side of the net.
But what a great match it has been. Just as uh, I hope for ahead of this match between two pairs that are definitely world class. Only the Indonesians, they haven't played that many tournaments together yet. Good shot again by Wong Ki Wei. 19-13. Two points away from their first final in uh, two years. What a confidence boost that must be if they succeed. way long and gives the Malaysian the top seeded Malaysian pairs seven match points seven match point opportunities to go into the final of the New Zealand Grand Prix gold and there it is there it is relief Enjoy from uh, Monkey Way and uh, Vivian Hu. They've secured a spot in uh, the final. Match won by Vivian Hu and Wong Ki Wei. 21 18, 13 21, and 21 13. A long, long match. 80 minutes and here's confirmation of the score 21 18 13 21 21 13 what a comeback by the malaysians after a period in uh, the middle of the match where they looked totally lost and uh, bewildered well, there's not any pair poly and uh, Rahayu, they've showed that by winning the Thailand Grand Prix gold and uh, winning a couple of good matches in the beginning of this tournament here. Well, their opponents in the final is uh, yet to be decided. Will it be Japan or China? That match is uh, currently playing on the uh, other court and uh, here on the main court we're going to shift our attention to women's singles in uh, just a little time After this uh, thrilling women's doubles match, we uh, are back with the women's singles in just a little while. <laughs> 